entitled Hydroxy Oxy. What is that called? Brown gas. You ever see people the back of their neck looks like it's got this roll of fat on it, it's all swollen? Well, it's not all fat, it's whatever this uh, fungus is that feeds on the metal toxins. It creates a infected 
plasma, like the plasma under your skin, in between your muscles, teeth and stuff, is this plasma fluid. And it should be, you know, uh, filled with your antibodies and, and be relatively in, in the proper balance. But this fungus will grow there, and without overtly making you sick, it will cause you to become septic. That's the word I said for septic in your plasma. If you get cut, it will immediately be infected and it will start to degrade your internal organs and, and cause all kinds of issues. You know, depending on what your weaknesses are, they could be a myriad of things, it could be a number of different things. Uh, but it's all as a result of kind of like a chain reaction of this one thing. And, uh, you know, if you experience them all at once, I guess it's one of
it's hot, but it, it, it doesn't, it'll melt metals, this thing will melt metal, but it, it, it's resistant to burning people. It's our friend. Fire can be our friend as long as you respect it at all times. I've got a, an understanding so far going good with fire. I respect it to the fullest and it helps me keep it me alive. You know, the other things I do help as well. I do you know, the, uh, methyl alcohol, the tinctures I make of the oil, methyl alcohol and water. That's a big time help. And earth grounding, of course, and mud bath. Mud baths were probably the one biggest thing besides this. Yeah. 
the smell of the like fireworks really and then it was even more at that time. So it's like sizzle bar my hairs off or whatever under my arms or anything, it would have a different smell and the smell would be like fireworks or gunpowder. So, you know, I'm just making this video to try and describe how it is that this type of thing is that is helping. Uh, I, you know, I don't, I don't fully, I can't, you know, give me a breakdown on what each thing is. I don't have a lab to do this type of, you know, testing in, but my, my take on it is, is that there is one source for all disease, and it's pretty straightforward, and uh, if our modern medical, AMA, Western medical, has been studying and doing tests and keeping records for as long as they supposedly have been, like a thousand years or something, they know full well what it is. They know full well about all kinds of things. So when they know full well and they don't say, then they're not a healthcare organization, they're a disease maintenance industry, which is really what we have, a disease maintenance industry. Because there is no money in people that don't have to have expensive treatments and prescriptions. And there's no money in that. The money is sick people that are just barely getting by, which is good for the government because then they're under control. Sick people don't go out to rallies and protest about things and they don't they all talk about their rights and they're not concerned about all they're concerned about is you know getting rent paid and getting food on the table and you know, taking care of the, the sick the sick loved ones and that's how that's how the elite stay how they keep everyone sick I have a, a story in my life but, but you know it could be true as, as in like back in the day uh, King Arthur was trying to think of a way to maintain his hold over the people you know, indefinitely forever and Merlin came up with this, uh, this special magical powder. Just sprinkle this in the wells and all the towns people drink from and voila. You'll be king forever. All you need is fluoride. It's good for you, you know. <laughs>
which is in okay and then the aluminum where does the aluminum come from hmm oh yeah we're protecting the earth from man-made global warming by reflecting the sunlight back into outer space by spraying above all the towns because you know that's where all the all the bad people's uh, poison comes from that is destroying the earth people never forget you're bad you're doing it global warming is real the oceans are going to rise and flood everything pay no mind that when you go down the seaside this high tide and the low tide it's exactly the same as it's been my entire fucking life it has not changed not it's exactly the same seaside would be underwater if 20 percent of the snow cap had melted or ice cap whatever had melted already sorry it would and for some reason the ocean on the point. i mean they change momentarily drastically sometimes but on a uh, on an average they're still right down the fucking middle as far as i can tell you know it's bullshit they might you know we could say venice well venice is going to be underwater so no well venice is venice is a big heavy city built on uh, not solid ground and it's sinking into the ocean the ocean isn't rising then it's just sinking you go anywhere else or, or why isn't hawaii's beaches underwater why isn't uh, you know seaside Oregon the promenade you should have uh, tides going up onto it in fact there's a picture um, a black and white picture on the promenade that shows waves breaking on the railing of the promenade and the promenade is like 200 yards from the uh, from the from the actual shore and I was and there's no explanation on the picture it's just down along there on, on a, one of the shops or on something down there I think it's on the public uh, park but there's no explanation for the picture. It doesn't say when it happened or what. And you're just like, was it a tsunami? How'd the water make it all the way up here? And then you know, this, this, this picture, this old black and white picture, it's never done that in my lifetime. You know? so, yeah, I've never heard of seaside getting swamped out yet. I mean, could it happen? I don't know. Strange. Right? The ocean's still saying that. But well, we got we to gotta spray. we got to spray a bunch of chemicals and make sure that we stop that man-made pollution right and what happened to the ozone hole oh my goodness the list goes on and on like everything is a freaking lie why wouldn't and what the hell care industry tells you to be a lie yeah it's ridiculous anyway i'm gonna end the video take care thanks for watching appreciate that people can relate